Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Numismatic Stacker. Today we're going to talk about, do you get ripped off when you buy Carson City Morgan Dollars, GSA Morgan Dollars, Slad Morgan Dollars? We're going to talk about this today, plus I'm going to give a shout out to a wonderful channel that I love to watch. Check this out. Thank you everybody for returning and yes we're going to talk about um, buying Carson Cities and Key Date Carson Cities, GSA Carson Cities. Do you overpay for these coins and uh, are you getting ripped off? Well I'm going to have a rebuttal as well. Now I just gotten my recommendations today for a video that was done in July of 2021 by my friend and a big fan of my channel, and that's Silver Struck. Silver Struck, I'm giving you a shout out today because your video really spoke to me as well. You sold, you told everybody that you were getting ripped off by buying an 1884 CC that allegedly was unopened, but it was opened, and you paid a suggested price, and you disclaimed it that it was $504. So we're going to go back to a year ago on what that coin was worth and see where it is today. Before we start, we're going to do a little clip of his video here. here. Yep. See how you can see that the, the box is pristine, he said, and it's been opened already. He opens this coin up, and here we go. We're going to see it right here. There's a certificate of authenticity. Uh-huh, 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 yeah, and here's the coin right here, yeah, play, let's go, you can see, he, he was uh, mentioning there's a lot of chatter, as you can see in the field, um, basically, he wants to hide his uh, identity, because he puts the, uh, his logo up there, so to make a long story short, guys, um, let's go to PCGS, so, this is what we do. This is what we do in Numismatic Stacker here. So he thought he got ripped off. He didn't get a Mint State 64. But we can look at a Mint State 63 right here, which I believe his, his coin is valued at a Mint State 63. Let's go back to back when he bought the coin. Look at that. So he exclaimed that he paid $504 for this coin. As you can see right there, the coin was 260 bucks. Now look at what happened. It went up a lot. It went up to 460. So technically he's still underwater, but he exclaimed that he's beating himself up that he got, uh, he, over, he overpaid. And I read the comments. A lot of people commented that you got ripped off, blah, 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 blah. But I had a really good comment saying that you did not get ripped off. No, 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 no. You're going to be paying a little more for uncirculated uh, Carson Cities, especially GSAs as well. The GSAs are, they, they can sell between uh, 5 to 10% above the suggested retail price, even though it's not graded. Graded ones will probably be about a 15% uh, premium on top of the suggested retail price. Um, there was a lot in Mincy 63 and Mincy 64, around 10,000 uh, per grade tier. There's a lot. There's a lot. So I'll, this is going to correlate to everything that I've been doing as well. As you can see, a huge price increase. It's okay to buy Carson Cities and Key Day Morgan dollars that are Carson Cities and pay a little bit because you're going to be in the red for a little bit, but not for long. And this is why. Now, back in 2017, I purchased an 1883 Carson City at a uh, at an antique shop, and I exclaimed that I paid $225 for this coin. At the time, the coin was worth $180 to $200. Everybody's an expert when they're commenting. Okay, they're like, "You got ripped off. You paid 108. That coin's worth 180. You overpaid. You overpaid. You overpaid. What's that coin worth now?" I, you know, it's 500 bucks. That's a double in price. Um, so there's a lot of coins that I buy and sometimes they're, I, I overpay. Like, like this one right here, 300 bucks I paid for this thing. 350, something like that. It's worth a lot more. 
is worth 500 so that's 150 to $200 gain. Um, Carson Cities are great. They're very, very good coins. This is a recent buy. But when it's cacked, sometimes people say, you know what, you're paying for the holder. Not necessarily. When it's cacked, that just it just verifies that grade. That means that grade is on the high end of that spectrum. You have a VF30, but it's not quite a VF35. This coin could be around a VF33. Let's zoom in so I can get a really good look at this coin here. It's very nice. For it to get cacked, it needs to be... Uh, it has a, had to, a better appearance than a normal VF30. Now this coin, even though I disclaim that I paid a lot for this, these coins, these, these two together plus another one, like 5800 Yeah, at the time, I, everybody said that I overpaid for them. But you know what? In due time, these coins will wor be worth more than I paid for. And as a matter of fact, these coins have gone up twice at 5%. Each time, that's a 10% increase in these coins in four months. No joke. No joke. This is correlating to everything that we stand by. Um, me and Silver Struck, we all have, we, we both have the same uh, interests in numismatics. We, we're all facing the same thing. And we're doing the right thing. As a matter of fact, I would love to do a live stream together with Silver Struck. I'm looking for people that are into coin collecting, Morgan Dollars. I want to chat and talk about these things because um, we're doing something that's right. I understand that the silver stacking community is very, very large. And when it comes to numismatic, it seems like it's a little smaller of a niche. And it, it's a little understood and misrepresented. Um... We can get, uh, basically, we're, we're discredited here and there. I have over a thousand videos. I, I am not a coin dealer, but I have so many good followers. Thousands of people that love to watch my channel versus the hundred that don't like me. I'll take in the good with the bad. It's just the way it is. Um, but you have to change with the market. You buy Carson Cities. I wouldn't buy, I would not, uh, basically... Beat yourself up about it. That's what I'm trying to say. Because these will accelerate in value because they're not going to make them anymore. The demand's very high for them. Um, even though there's a suggested price online, that doesn't mean that's what they're going to sell for. Okay, even if a coin like this is like 2600 or something like that, it's capped. It's going to be worth more. Um, you can see these the same coin for sale for 3000 3200 I hold on to it for two years. It could be 4200 same thing with this coin, 2700 right now. It could be way beyond that. It could be in the $3,500 range within a year. The, the price of these coins are accelerating faster than I can keep up. It's like it's constantly, every the first of every month I check and I look and they're up again and they're up again. I remember seeing people commenting that I overpaid for this beautiful dimple. Um, and now that coin is worth more than what I paid for now. It's cacked. There is a there is a gray sheet when it comes to pricing these coins out, plus having the, the CAC, but it's about a $500 a year uh, uh, membership to get these. But uh, I do thumb through it when I go to my, my favorite dealers, and I like to read them. And some of these coins can have between $150, a $500, or an $800, or even a $1,500 price difference. Yes. Depending on the date, depending on the mint mark, depending on the rarity, depending on the grade tier of that coin, it can accelerate the price. And yes, some people will say, I'm buying the holder, not the coin. When it comes to this, that's just a verification of that grade. Uh, and I would just, I would just, that doesn't matter to me. Okay, I'm not buying just the holder. That's a different story. When I'm buying a magnum opus, yes, I bought one magnum opus, made a mistake on that. I'm buying the holder, not the coin. This is a totally different scenario here. When I see a cat coin, it's verifying that, that grade and it's worth a little more, especially on a key date. Oh boy. Um, so, again, don't beat yourself up when you're buying Carson Cities. 
in the real marketplace out there, it's tough to buy them for for less than Gracie. It's it's impossible. Okay, you you just need to understand that that's not even possible. If you're buying less than Gracie, you, you actually need to like realize possibly that coin's not real. It's fake or counterfeit because these coins, the real, genuine, authentic versions of these Carson cities demand a higher premium. And it's showing on the websites. Even though silver's down, now silver's up a dollar. That's great. I actually timed that right and bought some silver when it was 1790 to 1805. And now it's up 84 cents. That's crazy today. When I start seeing silver going up to... I'd say $24, you're going to see more price increases on all these numismatics as well. Even another dollar, we'll see price increases on all these. It's just nonstop. All these uh, variables in the market, it just changes all these, uh, all the data and all the prices on every single one of these items. And they're getting rarer and people want them. They don't care what the price is at, at, at certain coins. You're talking about rare Carson cities or an 1893 S even though say that coin would be worth 3500 and there's a price take for 42 they're going to buy that coin that that in my opinion makes that coin going to accelerate in value in, in the next 30 days or we see auction sales on these coins higher than the retail value that tells me that the futures of these coins are going to uh, rise in price again and again and again. And the talk of like gold going up and the silver going up in the next year and a half or so, that's going to accelerate this stuff beyond belief. I believe these are one of the greatest investments you can have. And Silverstruck, thank you very much for doing that video. And I'm glad to show you that you have not gotten ripped off, my friend. You have not. And I hope you like this video. Please give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It really helps you YouTube algorithms get my videos out to people like you. And check out some of my videos I've done in the past. I really appreciate that, guys. Keep on stacking. Stack your silver while it's low. Silver goes up a little high. Start getting some Carson Cities. And it's always a good time to buy some Carson Cities. See you next time.